Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going through a uh, fourth anniversary Stowe's feature episode. So this episode Im is important because of two things. You can get a Dyson Science uh, Destroyer through it and also a Dyson Space Set which contains of space shields, uh, deflector and and engines. So let's go through it. I'm going to hail Tuvok. There's a feature episode, it's called A Step Between Stars. Gonna try. Okay, he's finally. So you get 400 anniversary accommodations, which you need to grind uh, for the Dyson uh, Science Destroyer. On the queue after this gives you a party patrol mission, which gives you 40 accommodations every day. So let's just see some uh, stats of the Dyson space set. So Solanese deflector array plus 1.8 accuracy plus 35 structural integrity plus 35 power insulators and plus 35 particle generator. Uh, Solani hyper efficient impulse engines gives you plus 7.1 flight speed plus 16 turn rate plus 3.8 weapons power settings and plus 3.8 auxiliary power. So, a good, good, good space set. Uh, let's see the shields. Solani Resilient Shield gives you base stat of 5201. Shield regeneration every 6 seconds reduces ele all energy damage to shields by 10%. So, good space set. If it's, is it better than the then the assimilated Borg one, it's not. But if you are uh, having a new character, I think this is the space set for you because you need to run this mission three times and you then get a set. And that will suffice until you grind the Omega reputation. So let's accept the mission. And let's transform there. It's in Tau Deva. Far from the remains of Romulus and the strife of the Romulan colony. Yeah, new character. Never been in Tau Deva sector block. So let's begin a step between stars. These new and you are going to Dyson Sphere Joint Command. Ancient beings, demons of air and darkness, that they are ill prepared to confront. Understood. So this is Chief Logistics Officer. You're just in time. Please follow me to Subcommander Cole. Let's buff up audio a little. Then percent so. Okay, so let's follow our logistics officer. And this is Subcommander Kale. He'll give us what Thank you for the mission so and what to do. Here is the situation. A Voth scientist has requested asylum, 
bringing with him information vital to our understanding of the sphere. We now know why it generates vast amounts of Omega particles. It is designed to use those particles as fuel to jump to any area of space. There is a space station that controls the jumps in close orbit of the sphere's star. Hmm, interesting. Admiral Tuvok from Starfleet was selected to lead a small team to the station to try to disable it. With him is Dr. Eric Cooper, a scientist who has been studying Dyson and Iconian technology. Something's gone wrong. Two hours ago, we received a distress signal from Tuvok. Please use the console to download the signal. Afterward, I'd like to hear your opinion of the situation. So, uh, this future episode, Team Russ is Tuvok guest stars, so that's pretty interesting. So, let's listen to Tuvok's message. Oh, it's over there. Interesting. Seems Tolak is in trouble. The attack on the Voth fleet will commence shortly. Captains, please return to your ships. Tuvok and Cooper are stranded with an entire Voth fleet bearing down on them. I need you to fly uh -oh. to the station. They are in real trouble. And finish the mission. Our fleet will engage the Voth to help keep them distracted. But to avoid detection, you'll need to fly roughly 100 kilometers above the surface of the star. So, let's see. Flying close to the sun will put my ship at risk, but I'll, of course, do what I can and what the mission demands. Let's press on that. Speak with the logistics officer assigned to brief your crew on the situation. With your permission, we can help your engineers set up a temporary modulation for your shield frequencies that should allow your ship to travel that close to the sun safely. <laughs> Interesting, they are going to retrofit my ship. Very good. So this is actually, I think, my crew. Nice. Let's see, speak to Chief Logistics Officer. Greetings. Our engineers are working with your crew now to create a temporary modulation program that will help your shields protect your ship from the heat and radiation you will encounter on your way to the sun station. Your ship should be able to safely make the trip but it won't be able to remain in orbit of the station. Good to know. We will need every available ship to fight the Voth. It would be best if your ship joined the fleet once you are aboard the station. Your goals on the station are to find Admiral Tuvok, assist him to shut down the sphere's jump capabilities, and then retreat before the Voth fleet arrives. Do you have any questions? So we are going to try to rescue Admiral Tuvok. Admiral Tuvok traveled to the station in a new starship, specifically designed to withstand the conditions there. The Dyson has reported some technical issues, but they should still be in transporter range. It will be standing by to assist you when you've completed your mission. Understood. Let's go to our ship. And there's the station. Huh. Well, we'll hope our ship stays together. Let's go. Nice display. I like it. So let's hail Admiral Tuvok. 
since we can't establish communication and we need to repair the nearby solar flare inhibitors ok let's do that first go to the, the second one since we have four inhibitors to repair if these flares will hurt your shield it's best to avoid them So it seems getting in 7 km range is enough. This is the third one. One more. Finally, we can able uh, hail Admiral to work. Uh, new accolade equals to point O. I am with Dr. Cooper, but many of the other members of our team have been killed. Any assistance you can render would be useful. I recommend that you speak to your crew before transport. Your vessel will not be able to remain in range for long. Hmm. Let's do it. So I'm beaming in and rest of my crew is going to support the fleet and fight the boss. Let's do it. Greetings, I am Admiral Tuvok. The man behind the crates is Dr. Eric Cooper. Tuvok, finally. Federation Science Council's expert on Dyson technology. I... Uh, yes! Hello, I'm Dr. C Cooper. Uh, I already don't like situation, this guy. So we may determine the best plan of action. Main power is offline. I am not sure what caused this disruption, but the event was fortunate. The darkness is a distinct tactical advantage. There are manual overrides in each room. I have temporarily disabled the one between us and the bot. The Dyson's captain has moved ahead to determine what is beyond the next door. Mm. Let's see what he knows about the station. There are two generator rooms that control much of the station's operations. The generator room to the south controls the power. The control room to the west, where the Voth are, maintains the station's jump capabilities. It is imperative we reach the west control room and disable it before the Voth jump this sphere back to their space. The release of the Omega particles needed for this reaction would be catastrophic. Hmm, interesting. Let's see how many votes are there. More than the three of us can safely engage. Defeat would be certain. However, if we restore main power, we can use the station's automated defenses to even the odds. If we can avoid being targeted by them ourselves. I understand you have extensive combat experience. Do you have any suggestions? Of course, Tuvok. Of course I have. Let's make way to We're the generator away room. From the Voth, right? Oh, Dyson's captain. Good thing you're here. I'll try to get the ship. Oh no! I sense another presence. We are not alone. Someone just killed Dyson's captain. Let's find out who it is. Detecting the bot that killed the captain. He is using cloak technology. Tactically, his best option is to remain hidden and attempt to waylay us one by one. We must move forward. The trapped bot will be attempting to circumvent my modifications. What do you suggest? Watch my back to lock and shoot first. Let's 
let's force open the door. Ah, oh, uh, sorry. I thought I saw something. This guy is Remain really annoying. Calm, doctor. The defenses in here can be quite lethal. It was awful. The sounds, the blood. Ugh. Let's force open these doors also. I will stand watch while you one. and the doctor examine the generator. Let's see what's wrong with the generator. If I understand this correctly, we can restore main power activating consoles that match the symbol up here. After the first one is activated, we'll only have 20 seconds to activate the other two. If we don't, the system will defend itself. Also, activating the wrong consoles will trigger the system's defenses. Be careful. Okay, let's see. Blue symbol. Red one, quickly. That looks right. Yellow. That did it. The final Yay. console is unlocked. New Achilles Dyson Sphere Puzzle Solver. Interesting. So red, let's restart station spot. Ooh, nice, nice, nice view. Uh oh, it seems for incoming. Oh. Whoa. Let's pick the to work again. This does not bode well. By restoring main power, we have released the locks, preventing the Voth from reaching our location. Uh oh. They will already be on the move. We will require Cooper's assistance to subvert the automated defenses for our own use. The Doctor is an expert in the technology found on this sphere. This is well within his capabilities. Okay, let's talk to Cooper. And he's already freaking out what the pussy man. What are we going to do? The Voth will be here any second. And I don't think they're in the mood to take prisoners. Please, you have to get me out of here. I'm not like you and Tuvok. Calm down, I'm man. It's important to die here. My help. What could I do? You and Tuvok have done everything so far. I don't even know how to use a phaser. I just want to go back to my lab. I was never meant for field work. Oh, guy, this guy is really unlikable. Tuvok said that? Well, maybe. I might know the technology, but I don't work well under pressure. I need time and space to think, and I need to be able to do my work without fear of being killed. I can't help you. I'm sorry. Co Cooper, we believe in you, yeah, right? All right. I'll try. If we're here, and the station's defenses are active, but we're not under attack. But if that's the case, wait. I can do this. Just give me a moment. Okay, do it already, man. Do it. Mm, nice. I think if I try this... Dr. Cooper, we require a solution. I'm working on it. Vulcans. If I can just try that. Yes, I have it. Okay, let's speak with him again. I've done something. I'm not ready for what's being thrown at me here. Maybe I could activate the beams or something else. Allow me, Doctor. Fascinating. With this exposed, I can manually activate the defenses in the next room. However, there is another possibility. What is that to uh... Instead of activating the defenses to assist you, I can reroute the power to attempt to send a message to our stranded ship. It may not help, but we have been out of contact for hours. Your options are activating the defense beams, activating swarmers, or using none of them. 
Mm, let's see. Tell me more about the beams. I can activate beams of energy that will shoot down in set periods of time. I do not have any further control than that. But you could lure some of the thought into the beams. The beams are quite deadly, so I would advise keeping your distance. This would be our easiest option against the Vought, but if we are not careful, we could be caught in the beams. Would you prefer I activate the beams? Yes, to uh, activate the beams. And of course, Dr. Cooper will wait until we kill every Vought. Oh, there are the beams. Let's put some turrets. More bomb inbound. Prepare yourself. Let's orbital strike them. Move forward. Mm, interesting. Let's put a turret here. Let's try to resuscitate the our ally. Oh, their wounds were fatal. about this what mm. arm yourself it is the boss who killed the captain oh this is the guy that killed the captain of the Dyson interest okay we'll take care of him let's go to the initial room that uh -oh. was an explosion of sufficient magnitude to cause a breach doctor what is your status I'm fine I'm fine the bot can't get in okay, let's move forward you, uh, may want to put a shield up around the next door before you open it okay let's activate the shields okay shields are up let's open the door it would appear all that is between us and our goal is the uh -oh. vacuum of space. Hmm. My modification successfully locked the Voth out of this area. However, there was an armed Voth battle suit in the corridor. The station's automated swarmers attacked, and this is the result. Hmm. Let's try to contact Dyson again. No response. According to my readings, there is no method of direct access. Unless your ship is within range, we uh, are stranded. The ship is already with the fleet. Let's wait for Cooper. I'm here! I'm here! Wait! Doctor, we require a way to access the other areas of the station. Your thoughts? Uh, I have an idea, but you may not like it. Those EV suits over there, they have maneuvering jets that we could use on the outside of the station. I've looked them over. And they should be able to withstand the heat of the sun. Should? Well, nothing will withstand that much heat and radiation for long. The suits appear to be designed for use in the shadow of the station. But, technically, they can keep us safe. For a little while. They will have to suffice. We have no other logical option. Okay, let's get the suits then. Hopefully they'll help. Ooh, nice looking suits. Me? Of course not. It's far too risky for me to go out there. We will need to convince Cooper to overcome his fear and help us complete our mission. I 
again convincing Cooper. Really. Do you really need me out there? Internal comms are still active. I could just tell you what you have to do. I really can't stand any more stress. I have no idea why Admiral Tuvok chose me for this project. I'm not trained for field work. If I get home alive, I'm writing a letter to the Federation Science Council. I'll file a formal complaint. Oh, what a pussy man. But doctor, we need you. I know, I know. But flying over a star? It's crazy. I don't even like using the holodeck. All I can think about is how I'm going to burn to a crisp and die horribly away from everyone I care about. Hmm. Well, I've seen the stories about you. You've been through a lot for one captain. If you can do this, maybe I can too. I'll get my EV suit. Oh, boost of confidence. Let's go. Click here to activate your EV suit. This will protect you from environmental hazards. It's probably activated. Let's go first. Oh, nice mechanic. Like Ryzean. Last summer on rise. It just oh, good visuals. A new accolade. Okay, let's see. There is a large piece of debris blocking the station's entrance. Oops. Okay, let's scan it. There is a large amount of debris blocking the entrance. It will be impossible for us to move it without assistance. I can scan the area for anything that may be of use. Good idea. There are two objects of interest. The first is the remains of a Voth battlesuit. There is a mortar payload within it that we can place onto the debris. The second is the remains of a swarmer, specifically a miniaturized communications device. We could use it to detonate the mortar remotely. Okay, let's get the community kit. Seems explosive is this is in this fourth battle armor. Let's take it. Oh very nice visuals. I think this is Best looking feature episode so far. Let's re recover the charges. So let's set the charge on the debris. The I suggest flying a safe distance before and two X is just we fly to save this uh, distance before activate a uh, smart guy let's blow it up Ooh, nice explosion Let's scan the door. The door is sealed. Any ideas, Doctor? There should be a manual release. <laughs> it seems I'm invisible. Oh, manual release. Okay. I will establish a shield. Oops. Okay, one release. 
two more to go. A little difficult to maneuver. But we are supposed to be in space, so that's not surprising. One more release. Tricky bastard. Okay, now we are in position. The doors are open. Dr. Cooper and I will wait for you inside. Let's go in. Oops. Okay, we finally did it. These suits are fried. I doubt they'll be much use anymore. Hmm. Your EV suit does not protect you in combat. Re-equip your body armor now. Good idea. Okay, so guys, this is the the end of the part one of this let's play star trek online episode stay tuned for part two soon <laughs>